Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, September 2nd, in 1862, sailors from the Union gunboat the USS Essex ventured into Natchez under the hill, seeking ice for the ship's sick and wounded. Commanded by W.D. Porter, the Essex was a 1,000-ton ironclad river gunboat with 32 guns, including several Dahlgren smoothbores and howitzers. On the previous day, the ship had dropped anchor across the river at Vidalia, seizing much-needed coal supplies. Once the coal had been loaded, Porter sent the crew to Natchez around 2 o'clock that afternoon. After securing the ice, the crew was shoving off when a crowd of about 300 people fired on the boat. The Natchezians were led by Douglas Walworth and the local militia, the Natchez Silver Grays. One Union sailor was killed and several wounded, including the officer in charge, Matt B. Snyder. In retaliation, the Essex immediately opened its batteries and commenced shelling the city for the next two and a half hours. The residents of Natchez kept up the fire of their muskets the entire time. One Union sailor noted, our shells set fire to several houses under the hill and did a great deal of damage to the city. During the shelling, one of the Essex's nine-inch forward guns exploded. Anxious to push up the river, Captain Porter left the arrangements of peace for another time. The Essex returned to Natchez on September 6th. Hi, my name is Seth Blattner. I'm a junior at Trinity Episcopal School, and this has been your Natchez Minute.